question. Who needs about 30 seconds to either get a pen or move their coffee or find a chair, whatever? I'll give it to you right now. Back in 30. Hi, this is Jan from New York City. My channel name is Jan from New York City with a scratchy throat. Saves money. How's everybody doing this evening? <clears throat> Excuse me, please. Hope that this video finds everybody doing well. If you are brand new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're a veteran viewer here, a sincere and humble, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're just dropping by to say hello, hello. Hope one day you come back and stick around. Going to get right to it. This is part two of a very special series about being in the bare bones, skinny chicken time of the month. You know, that is near and dear to my heart. I don't want anyone going through the struggles of not eating properly ever. So I came up with a few ideas, tips and tricks that we can use, not just this time of the, but this time of the month, but any time of the month. Okay. Deal, deal. Um, listen, it's really important in my honest opinion to get mentally prepared for this time of the month when in the beginning of the month, when things are better, when you just got paid, when you have your most amount of income that you're working with, when you have that fresh start, clean slate. And this is really important. For example, when you go to the grocery store, you anticipate maybe the fourth week of the month is going to be tough with food, for example. Buy certain things that are not just one-time meals, hit-and-run meals type things. But, for example, if you see a dozen eggs, you know you're going to use eggs inevitably, more than likely, if you eat eggs. You can use them in a recipe component. You can use them as is, stands alone. But if you get them now, you don't have to worry about it at the end of the month. And, yes, they have a longer shelf life than you think read the expiration dates. If it makes you feel a little better to do that, you should always check your eggs anyway, but get that extra dozen eggs in the beginning of the month. So you have them in your refrigerator towards the end of the month. That is one example. So get a little prepared, mentally prepared by stocking up on stuff like that. Now, when you can, the beginning of the month, although we're talking about the end of the month, right? This minute. <clears throat> Excuse me, please. Next, create a no trip to the grocery store week. What? That sounds easy enough. I mean, you don't actually have to get up, drag outside, jump in the car, spend the gas, waste an hour and a half, do things you really don't want to do at the moment when you could do other things. Yes, do shop your pantry. Do maximize the use of what you have. Work with what you have and don't fork out any extra money that you don't have to do it. If you don't have to do that, don't. Honestly, I think people underutilize the stuff that they have, whether it's in their freezer, whether it's in their refrigerator. I believe people underutilize the stuff that they have. Maximize the value of the stuff you already paid for. That is really, really important and save next. Count meal components as needed for the upcoming week ahead. I don't know about you, but I have mentioned to you guys, several times, I am a bean counter. I make no bones about it. I like keeping inventory of my freezer. I like keeping inventory of my refrigerator, which is one of the reasons I clean out my refrigerator every single Friday. I like knowing what's in there. I think the most I'll let it go is about 10 days, and then I feel sad to do that. <laughs> but I'd rather do it every seven days. The reason for it is not just to keep things cleaner, but because I like knowing what is in there. Therefore, that is very important. Count your meal components that you work with and then plan your meals. Next, buy a trusty notebook or a quick memo app to literally plan your meals. It's actually fun and empowering to know what your family will eat. Treat your stockpile, treat the things that you have 
already as a buffer to have that peace of mind, knowing that your family or yourself, you are not going to go hungry. This is why it is important to plan ahead. It is very important to plan ahead. Next, consider your humble freezer as a food bank to which you can pursue your building and your savings. I have always said this. I've said this for years. I even made a video a long time ago called this food in the freezer is money in the bank. Because if you treat your freezer as if it is like a safety box where you're adding and depositing for the future and get to withdrawal, withdraw rather as needed, this is absolutely very, very important to do that. So treat your freezer as the food bank that it absolutely is. Um, I'll have a bunch more of tips and tricks tomorrow night. So come back. And I just want to let you know that I really appreciate every single one of you. But please do me a favor. Share this video to someone or anyone that you believe may get some use from this freezer. This freezer. Listen, I can't talk today. I am absolutely tongue twisted today but you guys get the message share the video thank you so much uh i want to mention something before i go uh someone called it to my attention that they found the ticker on the bottom distracting i'm going to actually create a poll in the near future do you find the message below distracting yes or no i appreciate that in my opinion, the message is very, very important, but that is my opinion. Let me know how you feel about that rolling, scrolling banner below. Thank you ever, ever so much. Have a great night. See you tomorrow night. Bye-bye. Wait, 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 wait. I want to close the show with my music. <laughs> this is not my night, but I'm not taking my bloopers out. There you go. Take good care, everybody. Bloopers and all. Have a great night.